so Richard, when I get to the point, which I really hope, to understanding my emotions better and have a, a sense of personal mastery you were talking about before, will this also mean that I will make my decisions in a different way? Well, uh, the example you gave where you got upset by your children, by a colleague, mm -hmm. um, the reason you got upset because it was subconscious belief-based decision-making. Wow. That's... Yeah, it sounds like a mouthful, but you basically, something happened and you reacted mm -hmm. and from a, a subconscious level. What I explained to you about personal mastery was you then move from subconscious belief-based decision-making to conscious belief for this decision making so you actually don't react you have an insert a pause and you reflect before mm -hmm. and so you respond yeah. rather than react yeah. so that's a shift from subconscious to conscious belief based yeah, decision yeah. making yeah yeah it's a, it's a natural growth actually right that, yeah and so we we want to get out of all of this reactive stuff you know right um, and we want to move to conscious belief based decision making. Right. Well, well, if you think about conscious belief decision making, looking also at the world and the people around you, how can people benefit from this course? Well, <laughs> because there's more modes of decision making. Right. So first, it's um, instinct. It's the body's reaction. You, you, you can't control it. Then come the subconscious beliefs, which we talked mm -hmm. about. Then the conscious beliefs. But you see, what has happened is that things used to well, let me put it this way. Belief-based decision-making is based on information from the past, mm -hmm. which you're projecting into the present and the future. Well, yeah. everything's changing so rapidly these days. It is. That belief-based decision-making doesn't work. You need a higher mode of decision-making. Values-based decision-making is the way to go because it, it anchors to you to what is important in your heart. Mm. Right? Yeah, but also with the understanding of your heart that you yeah. have taken in already. Well, what is it? What's so important to me that I feel a sense of alignment? Well, mm -hmm. that's values-based decision making. Right, 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 right. And, and what kind of impact will that again have on my life? Well, moving from belief-based decision making to values-based decision making is something I recommend for everyone. And even we should teach our children how to do that. So what's the benefit is that, that you understand what is important to you and you make decisions based on what is important to you not just reacting or based on information from the past so that's uh, that's really important uh, to, to feel this sense of alignment with who you really are yeah and then finally what are, are the final levels or are there more levels to that sure. decision making there are six modes of decision making we talked about instincts, subconscious beliefs, conscious beliefs, values. Then come two more. And we could call them intuition. Yes. You have had an intuitive moment. Yes. And then inspiration. Inspiration. <laughs> Yeah, and this, the, this is the voice of your soul. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As I, as I, as I can see you speaking about that last one, it, it, it does create more space and happiness in your life. Yeah. So, inspiration based decision making, you can't control it. it. It's just where you are in your stages of development. As you move up the stages of development, as you move up the levels of consciousness, you move into that mode of decision making all of the time. I think this is something that should be the base of our lives, actually. I agree. Yeah. That's why I made a course about it. <laughs> <laughs>